Edward Lynham, you've returned to Hong Kong with a two-pronged attack this year, sole power and slow power. Yeah, they um, both were very kindly invited and love coming over here. You get very well treated. It's a great race. And, um, I suppose an ambition of mine would be to win the Hong Kong sprint at a Hong Kong mile, so we'll give it a go. They're both in good form, but looking at Sol Power firstly, he comes off uh, some great form in Europe, winning the King's Stand and running some credible races after that. You must be delighted with the way he's running. Yeah, he's added consistency to his game the last 12 months. Um, he's trained very good, very happy with him. He's fast enough to win a Hong Kong sprint. He's just got to settle and, you know, deliver the sort of run he delivered in Ascot. I guess the question mark with him might be getting the six furlong. Is that a concern for you? If he settles, he'll get it. If he doesn't settle it, he won't get four of it. He's got to settle. And this, the, the pace of the race in Hong Kong, I think he will settle. He seems to form a great relationship with Johnny. Is he the key to how well this horse can run on Sunday? Yeah, I think Johnny um, is seven pound better when Johnny's on him. And uh, yeah. Slade Power, he seems to be a horse really on the, on the up and a potential you know, top line sprinter. Yeah, we've always taught a lot of him. He won. He won a couple of list of races at three and then he got injured um, in the champion sprint. But he returned this year very good. He's a good group three, five furlong horse. But he's a group one, six furlong horse. He ran group two the last day. Um, he's very tough, but mentally he's not just as forward as the other horse. And this trip will do him the world of good. But if he behaves and things go right for him, if he's, if he's prominent early, he's a big chance. He's got a few quirky habits in the gate, that horse. He'll wear the hood here. Yeah, he, he can just get a little bit restless in the gate. Touchwood, he's been very good the last couple of times, um, but he needs to break quick over here. They go very quick, and he needs to break quick to get a position. Lord Canaloa, obviously, and, and Lucky Nine, the benchmark. Do you see those two as probably your biggest threats? Without doubt, I think Lord Canaloa. I can't, I can't work out how he's only rated 120. He looks a better horse than that to me. I think if whatever beats him will win. And Lucky Nine... If he got the run of the race, he's the, he's the next best. They'd be the two to beat. Best of luck. Thank you.